You know if you went outside today, it feels yeah. like it's a cold winter day. It's for sure out of yeah. nowhere, I feel like. So uh, how is it affecting our local farmers? Channel 3's Lauren Richardson is uh, checking out the scene. She's at Phoenix Farm. I see her inside. It's got to be a nice temperature in there, Lauren. Oh my gosh, Mark and Aaron, I got lucky. I mean, I'm inside this warm greenhouse. I'm not feeling that wind right now. And you can see actually I've got some nice local carrots too right next to the microphone. But yeah, they were actually planning on planting some flowers earlier this week, uh, but actually now they've pushed it back because of these cold temperatures. So I'm gonna show you some video real quick. Uh, we are taking a look at some peas that they started planting uh, since they can thrive in the colder weather, but they're still underground at the moment. All the crops are certified organic produce here. Inside the greenhouse, they are growing right now that you just saw some winter crops, some spinach, some carrots, some radishes. These white covers also that we're showing you raise the temperature about eight degrees. So it's always above, above freezing for these crops in here. These crops will be ready sometime in April. And then in the next couple of weeks, they plan to plant their summer crops inside and outside as the temperatures warm up. Here at the farm, they have about 48 plus acres of land. About 14 of it is usable and they're going to wait for a little bit to plant those crops. With it being down to 19, 20 degrees this evening, it's going to be too much of a shock for them. So we'll hold off on that. And then towards the end of the weekend, it looks like it's going to warm up. And with row cover, which is fabric that we can put over our plants, um, they'll survive a light frost. Yeah, once again, you can see these baby carrots right next to me are underway. They also attend several local farmers markets around the area. You can go to their website for more information on that. But at five o'clock, I'm going to be talking more about how they're preparing for a really cold night like tonight. In Cromwell, Lauren Richardson, Eyewitness News. All right.